Shela Calvary. Kaliva Kala di Bitarana. Eo, Eo Calvary. Eo Calvary.
go ahead and worship the name of the Lord. Worship the name of the Lord. Father, you deserve all the glory. You deserve all the honor, Lion of Judah. There is no one like you, Jesus. You alone are the Lion of Judah. You alone are the of all the worship, Jesus. Come on, tell him that God, you're mighty. the praise. Father, we give you all the honor for your You are deliverer, Jesus. My healer, you're worthy of all the praise. We worship you, Jesus. We give you all the
lift up your voice. from sin by the name of Jesus and at the dimension of the name every knee shall not bow down and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord but we confess you today over the mountains that you are king you are king over the oceans you are king over the nations you are king of the islands you are king over the valleys you are king of lakes and seas you are king of creation, over creation. You are everlasting. Your reign is from everlasting to everlasting. And your government has no end. You are an ever increasing king. Lord, we lift your name, O oh God. We bless you for who you are. For all that you do, O oh God. For your marvelous works, O oh God. For your wondrous works, O oh God. You've been amazing to us, O oh God. You've been so kind to us, O oh God. You are faithful, God. A faithful Father you are to us, O oh God. Even when we are not faithful, you proved yourself faithful, God. You are so kind to us, O oh God. For you forgive all our sins and heal all our diseases, O oh God. You are the Lord, our Redeemer. You are the Lord that took our place on the cross, O oh God. Though we boast and we pride in you. You are the Lord our God. We will have no other beside you, God. We now no serve another beside you, God. But forever we lift your name, O God. Come on, people, lift up your lift up your voice in worship. We thank you for the victory that you are giving us. We thank you for the victory that you began to give us on this altar, God. We stand on this altar and we declare you King of Kings. We declare you Master of Nature. We declare Lord over Kawepe. We declare Lord over the universe. We declare Lord of the islands. We declare Lord over the nations. Oh God, we thank you for the victory in our homes. We thank you for the victory in our lives, O oh God, in our marriages, O oh God. You are restoring us, O oh God. You are reviving us, O oh God. You are rebuilding us, O oh God. You are bringing us back to yourself, O oh God. We are saying in your word, if you return to me, I'll return to you. If you draw near to me, I will draw near to you. Oh, this week we draw near to you, God. We still forsake our evil ways. We forsake every iniquity of God. We denounce every form of sin. And we come before the throne of grace, knowing that you are gracious to us, knowing that you are so kind. The Bible says you are so comfort, com 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 compassionate to God, slow to anger, and abounding in love, Father. You, you 
don't repay us according to our sinfulness, O God. But as the Father has pity on his children, so the Lord pities those that believe in him, O God. Lord, we thank you that you called us your own. We thank you that we are the, we are the church, O God, but for which you died and you shed your blood, O God. Today we confess you as Lord and Savior, God. We thank you for victory over sin. We thank you for victory over the last of the eye. We thank you that you are giving us victory over everything that has been weakening us, O God. For, oh Lord, you are separating us, O God. You are calling us a remnant, O God. Those that we that will stay in your presence, O God. We thank you that you've written our names in the book of life, Father. And you called us your own, O God. Our names are written in the palm of your hand, O God. We are the up of your eyes, O God. You called us by name. You've numbered our days, O God. You know our weaknesses. You know our strength, O God. You know what we can do and we can, what we can do, O God. You know us when you rise. And we, you know us when we sit, O God. You are Lord over us, O God. Lord, we surrender to you. We continue to surrender to you. We continue to pray, Holy Spirit, that even in these evil days, O God, Strengthen us, O oh God. Strengthen the church, O oh God. Strengthen us to be your people. Strengthen us to be the church that are after your name, O oh God. May we be the bride of Christ, O oh God. May we the be, be the people that go after your name, O oh God. All Uganda, we serve you to pray for yourself. We pray that the Lord will preserve you. Pray that the Lord will preserve you. In these evil days, when the enemy has come against us like a flood, pray that the Lord will rise a standard of righteousness in your family, in your life, that will not be consumed by wickedness around us. By the evil that surround us, by the darkness around us, by the light will shine around us. Come on, don't be so weak, brother. Don't be so weak, my sister. Strengthen yourself in the Lord and pray. Strengthen yourself in the Lord and pray. Don't just stand there and look around. Pray and the Bible says, watch and pray that you don't follow into temptation. Pray for yourself, my sister. Pray for yourself, my brother. Even those of you that are watching online, pray that evil days do not consume you. Pray that the Lord will preserve you. Pray that the Lord will keep you safe. Pray that the Lord will be your keeper. Pray that the Lord will hide you under his pavilion. Kabiria <laughs> As God of Elijah, as you preserve the Elijah from worshiping idols, I pray that you preserve my generation, preserve my children, preserve my descendants, O oh God. Preserve that those who come out of, out of me, O oh God, that will not bow down to idols, that will not worship another God, but they shall know you are their Savior. They shall walk in your ways. They shall know your ways, O oh God. They shall know your voice, O oh God, and walk in your ways, O oh God. They shall have grace, O oh God, to walk after you, to run after you, to know your word, O oh God, to obey your word, O oh God. Make us the people that seek after you. 
Make us a generation of those that worship you. Make us a generation of righteousness. The people that fast for holiness, O oh God. May your word, O oh God, consume us, O oh God. Teach my soul to fear you. Teach my heart to fear your name. Teach my heart to fear your name. Teach my soul to run after you. Teach me, O oh God, to fear your name. Let the fear of your word be upon me. Let the fear of your name be in my heart, O oh God. Let me not walk after other gods. Let me not be among the deceived, O oh God. Keep me from offenses, O oh God. Give me grace to stand, O oh God. In the midst of chaos, O oh God. In the midst of confusion, I pray that I will be clarity of you, O oh God. That I'll be able to hear your voice, O oh God. In the commotion of noise, O oh God. That I may be able to discern your voice and know your ways, O oh God. And walk in your ways, O oh God. O oh God. O I'm praying, oh God, that even my children, they will know you, oh God, they will not be deceived, oh God. Father, I pray in Jesus' name that you the fear of your name will be upon my marriage, will be upon my children, will be upon everything that I do, oh God. May you teach me your ways, oh God. Teach me your ways, oh God. For your word says in Psalm 103 that you showed your miracles to the children of Islam. But to Moses, you taught me your ways, oh God. I pray just as you did to Moses, teach me your way. Teach me your ways, oh God. Show me your ways, oh God. That I may walk in them, oh God. That I may not look to the right, but to the left, oh God. But your way will be my way, oh God. Oh God, help me, Father. That I may not be able to walk in my own power. Cross me with your righteousness. Cross me with grace to overcome. I desire your righteousness. I desire your holiness, O oh God. I desire your word, O oh God. I desire your presence. I desire to see your glory. I desire to see your power. For your word says, O oh God, in 2 Chronicles 16, 19, that the eyes of the Lord run to and flow, searching for man with a loyal heart that you may show yourself strong on their behalf, oh God. I pray, Holy Spirit, give me a royal heart, oh God. Give me an undivided heart, oh God. Give me an undivided heart, oh God. Give me an undivided heart, oh God. Then I may be able to worship you. Then I may be able to honor you. Then I may be able to walk with you. Then I may be able to fear your name. Teach me the fear of your name. Let me tremble in your presence. May I never get used to you, O oh God. May I never get used to your presence, O oh God. Teach my heart to fear you. Teach my heart to fear your name. Teach my heart to fear you. Teach my heart to fear you. To fear you. Give me the fear of your name. Give me the fear of your name. May it be the fear of your name, O oh God. In my life, in Jesus' name, teach me to know you, O oh God. Teach me to know you, O oh God. Teach me to know you, O oh God. Teach my heart to know you. Teach my heart to seek you. Teach my heart to run after you. Teach my heart to come after you. To pursue you with everything, O oh God. I pray, Holy Spirit, that the desires of my heart will be into your word, O oh God. The desire of my heart, O oh God, will be to know you, O oh God. The desire of my heart will be to seek your face. The desire of my heart, O oh God, will be to dwell in your presence. As David said, that I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the temple of the Lord. I want to be in your presence. It's worth more than a thousand days after outside your temple, God. I pray, Holy Spirit, teach me, Holy Spirit, teach me, Holy Spirit. Ye kere di orobosita, ramase kete kere di araba, 
desires of this world never overtake us, O God. May we fix our eyes on Jesus, the earth and the finish of our faith, O God. May we walk in your ways, O God. May we never fulfill the desires of the flesh, but walk in your holiness, but walk in your righteousness, and walk after you, O God. Consume me, O God. Consume my soul. Consume my life with your life, Father. Fill me with the life of Christ, O God. Fill me with your life. May I be consumed by you. May I be consumed by your presence. May I be consumed, O God, by the desire to know you, by the desire to walk after you, God. Be my healer, O God. Be my secret, O God. Be my hiding place, O God. From the times of trouble, God, hide me under your pavilion. When the enemy rises like a flood, may you raise up a standard that hides your church, O God. Why would the enemy say that you saved us, but you cannot change us? The world is laughing at your church, saying that you saved us, but you can't transform us. I pray that you make us an example. May we be the mode of those that fear you. May we be a mode of those that fear your name. May the world look at us and know that you died and rose again, and you are able to save to the uttermost of God. You are able to change us. You are able to transform us, I pray. Don't just look around and pray. Pray for yourself. Don't wait. 
Don't just wait that we're about to finish. Pray for yourself. Cry out to the Lord. Cry out to the Lord. Seek the mercies of the Lord. It is only by mercy that we can survive. It's only His mercy that can make us stay. If not for His mercies, We'll be like any other person. We'll be lost in the deceit of the enemy. Pray for your soul. Pray that the Lord will preserve you. Pray that the Lord will help you. Don't pray for worldly things. Seek you the kingdom of God. And all his righteousness. And that the rest of these things shall be added unto you. Seek the righteousness of God. Claim that the Lord cleanse your soul from envy from jealousy, from lust, from deceit, from fear. Purify us, O God. Purify my soul. Purify my soul. Purify my soul. Purify my soul. Come on, people, don't stay quiet. Don't stay quiet. Yes, Lord. Yes, Holy Spirit of God. It's only you. It's only you that can redeem us. It's only you that can keep us safe, oh God. In this evil world, oh God, we will stand and overcome. We'll be the light and the salt of the world. We will not bow our knee to evil, God. We will not bow our knee to any fallen God. But we will stand and declare that Jesus is Lord. The nation shall know that there are people that are called after you. We shall be like Elijah, oh God. We shall rebuild the altar of God. We shall repair the altar of God. We shall sing your praises. We shall declare to the nation that you are God, that you are Christ of the living God. There is no other beside you, God. I pray that you give us strength to sing your praises, oh God. Give us strength to declare your word. Give us strength to proclaim your counsel. Give us strength, O God, to turn many to righteousness, O God. Give us strength, O God, to bring back your church, to be a body of Christ, O God. Give us strength, O God, to draw near to you, God. May we be a people, God, with us, without spot or wrinkle, God. May, be, we, may we be a generation of those that seek your face. May we be a generation of Jacob. May we be a generation of David that worships you until you come down. May we be a generation of Elijah that rebuilds the temple of God. May we be a generation of Peter that see the outpouring of your spirit. May we be a generation of Isaiah that saw the redemption of a nation. May we be a generation of John the Baptist that declared to open the ways of the Lord. May we be a generation of Moses that draws your people from Egypt and bring deliverance to your people. May we be a generation of Noah that build and survive the flood of evil. May we be a generation of Enoch 
that walks with God until he was no more. May we be a generation of David that pants and thirsts for your righteousness, O God. May we be a generation of apostles that will see the fire of God consume the church again. May we be a generation of prophets that declare the full counsel of God. May we be a generation of uncompromising people that will stand on your word. Oh, and may we be like Daniel, God, that declared your word in the dark world of Babylon, oh God, and brought the whole nation on their knee, oh God. May we be a generation of Esther, of those that seek your face. If we perish, we perish. May we be a generation of those that run after you, that so and so they associate your God, who is no looking back, oh God. May we be like a Paul. May we be like a Paul of soul who became Paul. May we be a generation of Elisha that sold everything he had to follow the man of God, to follow the voice of God. May we be a generation of those that will bring their children up in the fear of the Lord. May we be a generation of intercessors that will intercede for nations and call you on behalf of the land until you come down. May we be a generation of Solomon that will rebuild the temple of God and call upon the fire of God until the glory fill the temple until we hear your voice of God may we be a generation of Abraham that made a covenant with you to walk with you for the rest of your life may we be a generation of Abraham that waited for the promise without wavering without doubting of God may we be a generation of those that never look to the right or the left of God may we be a generation of miracles Workers, may we be a generation of promise keepers, O God. May we be a generation that keep the covenant, O God. May we be a generation of those that they will call the faithfulness the faithful of God. May we never waver in the promises of God. May we be a generation of prophetic intercessors that will see things yet to come and call them into existence. May we be an apostolic in our nature, O God, to call upon the Establishment of thy kingdom in this world of God. So, God, baptize us with fire. Baptize us with fire. Baptize us with fire. That we may be able to withstand the fires of wickedness in our time, of God. Baptize us, O God. Baptize us, O God. That even the wicked will fear to come near our tents, O God. Baptize us, O God. Until we have a voice that will stop the horns of hell, O God. May we be a hearing generation. May we be a people that will be called the hearing balm of God. May we be a generation that will be called and will be used as the voice of God in our generation of God. Who is just looking around? We all fast. We are all weak. We do not allow the body to be consumed. We do not allow the body to no be Pray with your, soul, your spirit. Do not listen to your flesh. Focus, focus, focus people, focus on God. Fix your eyes on Him. You are in the presence of God. Rio Robo Sikala, Romo Sikatakara, Romo Sekereya, Lord, and you the one that promised that in those days I will pour my spirit on all flesh of God. You promise, O God, in the last days of God, the knowledge of your name shall fill the earth just like the waters cover the sea of God. Will you pour out your glory? Pour out your glory. Send your fire. Send your fire, oh God. Make us messengers of fire. Let the angels get busy with us. Send us fighting angels. Oh God, I pray. 
Our homes will not be divided by the horns of evil. Our homes will not be divided by the horns of evil. Our marriages will be united. Kawempe Worship Center, you shall stay united. You shall stay as one. You shall stay as one. No more division. No more division in our midst in the name of Jesus. Whatever the enemy has meant for evil, we refuse and we turn it around for our good because we are called after his goodness. Will be a church, will be a church that's united as one, will be a church that's united as one. No more division, no more self seeking, no more self promotion in the name of Jesus. No more greed among us. We are all servants of the Most High. We shall be called the unit of God, the body of Christ, the children of God. We esteem one another, we esteem more one another more than we do ourselves. We are just servants to one another, and we are all servants of the Most High, no one above the other, for we are called by the same name. We are saved by the gracious blood of Jesus, that are for in the name of Jesus. I pray for humility. I pray for humility. I pray for humility of God. Lord, clothe us with the garment of humility. Clothe us with the garment of humility, that pride will never be found among us, that pride will never be found in our medicine, that no pride will be ever found in my heart of God. Cross me with the garment of humility. 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 Oh God. Cross me the garment of humility, oh God. If, if there is any form of pride in my soul, in my life, Father, I pray that you forgive me and cleanse me, Father. For I'm just a mere man. I'm just saved by grace. Anointed this I am. But there's nothing more. Without you, I am nothing, oh God. Therefore, I humble myself under the might hand of God who lift the weak and make them strong. I pray in the name of Jesus in Kawimpe Worship Center. And the people that are watching us online in Jesus' name, that humility will be our portion, humility will be our identity. We shall be known, we are making the spirit in the name of Jesus. Pride, pride will never be found among us, pride will never consume us, even if riches increase, even if fame increases, nothing will ever take the place of God in our lives. But we shall always submit ourselves under the mighty hand of God. Remese you who serve the Lord, you who serve the Lord, you are not among those that are going to backslide. You are not among those that are going to live to the to look to the right or to the left. You will never be stagnant on the way. You shall not follow by the roadside, but you shall walk the walk of faith in the narrow road of faith. You shall overcome in Jesus' name, even if you go through fire. You shall never denounce your faith in the name of Jesus. Nothing will ever separate you from the love of God. No calamity, no sickness, no poverty, no death can ever separate you from the love of God. We are saved forever. We are saved by grace. And grace will help us walk. Grace us will establish us in righteousness. For his word says, in, his, in righteousness we shall be established. I pray in Jesus' name, the Lord righteousness will be our portion. Establish us in righteousness. Establish this church in righteousness. Establish Kawimpe Worship Center in righteousness. Establish us in your righteousness. Surround us with your rightness. Close us with your righteousness of God. Remese kete kereri yaramayana. Take away every sin that easily entangles us. Take away every sin that easily entangles us. Oh, 
Oh 
Now, for you to stand like this and pretend like humility, humility has nothing to do with your posture today. One of the reasons why the Bible says David was blessed, when he sensed the presence of the Lord, he danced, he sacrificed, he danced. Now, some of you, the fasting is good. I will know that your, your, your stomach is empty. Now let me tell you something. Until your soul, your spirit, and your body march together, you are still missing something. You need to teach your body. To do what your spirit is doing. For some of you, speaking in the presence of the Lord. One of the things you must you must teach yourself. We call it reckless abandon. That's how David danced, reckless abandon. When you sense that God is in this place, everything you do, you do it with your might, which comes from your strength, from your body. You do it with your soul, which is the focus of your mind. And you do it with your spirit. That's what David means when he says, everything within me. Praise the Lord. That includes your hands. Includes your heart. Includes your feet. The day you teach your body to do what your spirit does will be a major breakthrough for many of you. But for many of you, the way you behave during services is a sign that your body is still in charge of many things in your life. The way you stand, fasting helps to cut weight so that you become light. If your hand is heavy, you cannot lift it up for two minutes. But it doesn't take out the scripture which says that with prison hands. Some of you, just two minutes of dancing makes you like you are, you've been running for ages. You've got to put that flesh where it belongs. 
Start controlling your body before Sunday. Tell your body you will praise the Lord. You will learn to dance for the Lord. If He's lifting hands, I'm going to lift my hands until they pain me. When David said to a, a man around her, and he said, I will not give anything to God that costs me nothing. Praise who costs your feet, who cause, cause pain in your feet. Worship who causes pain in your hand. Please take your seats. That's how some of us break through. I, I've, I've been in the places where I've prayed and fasted. I've been in the places where I have fasted and prayed. But then before when Syrian and Saba, and there is only one missing portion that I need to do. And sometimes it's called worship. Amen. Amen. Let's take a few moments in the in the word of God. In, a, in, in Numbers 23, I want to remind you of something we, we did about, I think it was a year ago, two years ago. Let, let's read uh, Numbers 23. Uh, let's, uh, let's go back to 22. We are, we are building the altar of God. The Bible says in verse 1, 22 numbers, 22 1. Then the children of Israel moved and camped in the plains of Moab on the side of Jordan, of, of the Jordan, across Jericho. Now Balak, the son of Zippor, saw all that Israel had done to the Amorites. And Moab was exceedingly afraid of the people because they were many, and Moab was sick with dread because of the children of Israel. And Moab, verse 4. So Moab said to the elders of Midian, Now this company will lick up everything around us as the ox licks up the grass of the field. And Balak, the, and Balak the son of Zippah was king of the Moabites at the time. Then he uh -huh. Then he sent messengers to Balaam the son of Bewa of Pethor, which is near the river in the land of the sons of his people, to call him, saying, Look, a people has come from Egypt. See, they cover the face of the earth and are settling next to me. Natuma Ababaka Eri Balamo Mutabanua Biori Eri Pesoli E Chili Murubala Ma Oromuga Monsiava Navantu Babantube Okumuyita Nayu Giranti Lava Waliwo Avantu Ababa Mumisidi Lava Sani Kide Kumasogen Si Eraba to De Okunjurikira. Therefore please come at, at once, cast these people for me, for they are too many for me. Perhaps I shall be able to defeat them and drive them out of the land. For I know that, they, that he whom you bless is blessed, and he whom you curse is cursed. Kare jangu no nkwe gairi de, onkoli midele avantu bano, kubanga wanyeze amanyi, mpozi ndi wangula, tubate, mbagobe monsi, kubanga manyi, nga guo sabira, gwe omuksa, awe omuksa, ne guo kolimira, akolimira. Verse 7. Oromu sanvo. I want you to see verse 7. So the elders of Moab and the elders of Midian departed with the diviner's fee in their hand. And they came to Balaam and they spoke to him the words of Barak. Verse 8. 
Now, you remember about two years ago, the Lord told us to deal with the spirit of witchcraft. You remember that? You still have the notes from the, the dealing with the spirit of witchcraft. Not so and, 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 and as, we, as, as we build altars, this is one cunning spirit, disguising spirit that you need to always be aware of. The spirit of witchcraft. Anything, I, I remember when I gave you the definition of what's witchcraft. It is any counterfeit spiritual power. In other words, anything that's not the spirit of God. Are you following me, people? Anything that's not the spirit of God will be looted back in the spirit of witchcraft. Are you following me? I'm saying anything beside the Holy Spirit is the spirit of witchcraft. Are you following me, people? Because I want you to remember this. Because many people think when we talk about witchcraft, we are talking about witches outside the church. But you also need to remember many times, even us who are born again, we have spoken out of the spirit of fear which is not the Holy Spirit. We have used manipulation which is not the Holy Spirit. Anytime you stand before the people of God and either use a human spirit or any spirit that is not the Holy Spirit, you are in witchcraft. Are you following me? And, and um, and any other spirit. The, spirit, the Bible says, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is, there is what? There is liberty. But how do you know that the, someone is using another spirit, which is not the spirit of God? When they, whatever they say, inflict fear on in your life, in your soul. Either it creates fear of a man or, 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 or fear or, or fear of something because the spirit of God who only bring liberty and faith it doesn't matter what the situation is. The spirit of the Lord who always lead us into freedom even, even when he says repent. That repentance is not to control you or to scare you into fear. But th th that repentance is to free you from the bondages to bring you to a place where there is freedom. Are you following me, people? If a man starts to scare you, that if, like, uh, um, I've had people come to this church and say, I came from, uh, 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 the Lord told me to come here. But my pastor said, if I leave him, I'll die. Now, though, though that, some of those are not evil people. But they just don't know what to do to keep the people in their pews. Are you listening to me? Not everyone who uses any other spirit other than the spirit of God is, is a false teacher or a false prophet. Some of them, some of them are well-meaning people. But when they they, 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 they lose or they don't focus on what to do with the people. Especially here in Africa. We are used to be scared. We are used to be motivated, motivated by fear. The Africans, if, I don't know about Kenyans, but in, in Uganda, if you don't scare someone into giving, they won't give. 
Tuliba Filika, Simani Bifa Kenya, and Iemu Uganda, Mutuatam to Satisakua, Tawai. So that's why most preachers, when they are preaching, they, they, point, they, they are preaching from this motivation of fear. The Lord will cast your money if you don't give. You won't eat the next meal if you don't tithe. Or if you don't pray, the, the food will strangle you, or whatever. That's, that's not how the Spirit of God works. The, free, the Spirit of the Lord is freedom, people. I said freedom. I've had people come here and say, Pastor, we fear you. There's a woman here, she spent here a whole year and she said, hey, I, ne I never thought yeah, I could ever talk to you. Because she feared me. I don't know why. But after she talked to me, then she started wanting to talk to me every day. I concluded that whatever she feared was not, it was not for me. She, she had to deal with herself. Are you following me? That's not what I'm talking about. When the people come and say, hey, mama, to cut you. It's because sometimes the people fear you. Because the spirit on, on them is contrary to the spirit in you. But I'm, I'm, now I'm talking about us being the church. That when, we, when, when we start to operate, you don't operate, you should never start to operate in any other spirit. Because once you do, and you step out of the boundaries of God's spirit, then you produce the region. And that religion is controlled by witchcraft. R witchcraft is the religion of fallen men. That they use to control others. But, but they, can, they will even twist the scriptures. If, like someone I told you that told me that if you leave your father and mother's religion, you will die. That's, that's used over millions and millions of people. But I was able to break through their net because I read the word. And so I just wanted to remind us as, 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 we, as we build the altar of God. Be aware of this spirit, people. Once you start operating on the altar of God, you have already polluted the altar. And the spirit of the Lord will not contend with the other spirit. It just leaves. And sometimes it takes ages. For people to know that the spirit of the Lord has, de has, has departed. Witchcraft seeks to control people. Control. Control. Either by money. Either by fear. Either by whatever people use. Manipulation. I'm teling you people. If you, you get to a place where you are scared to leave Kawempe Worship Center, you know you need to approach one of us. We are a church of freedom. If you want to leave, we don't even have doors. You can leave. It's good. It, it, sometimes it's good for you to leave. Don't feel like this church is a prison. No one, no pastor in this church will curse you. As long as we know that God is leading you. Are you following me, people? We are not the only church. So never feel like you have to be here for you to get your blessings. The blessings in this place are for those that God planted here. If this is not your home, is this no, if this is not your family, please speak up. We will lay hands on you. I will bless you and let you go.
Oh, she take it to Uganda. Amen. Because I, 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 I just wanted to bring that across because uh, in the last several months, I've, I, I've, I've encountered people who come from other churches and say, hey, we can't leave our church because the pastor or the man of God. Hey. What one one said, there is one who said, whenever, when you leave me, you will die. Now, you know that's the spirit of witchcraft that you actually need to break off your life. And some of those guys are not joking because they are source. It's actually on evil altars. You need to be filled with the spirit of God because where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty Amina and I'm not saying that you, you, you need to leave because you, you don't like any one of us I just want you to, to know that if you stay, you stay because you chose to stay and if you stay we will love you we will love you until death. We are not joking. We will love you. By the time you want to go, you no longer want to go. Praise the Lord. But we must deal with the spirit of witchcraft. So I just read you the scripture. Of this particular man called Balaam. No, we I've researched about the man and it's just. Uh, a, 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 a funny character. He was well known in the region. And so uh, the, the, the Israel had fought like one, two, three wars. And they are sweeping through the land, defeating every nation before them. And then they came and settled again, uh, right next to Moab. And then this man knew that this, if he picks up a war, he picks up a war with them, he can never win because he had heard their history. The news of a mighty hand of God delivering them from Egypt has saturated around the region. Everyone, everyone had heard about the divided Red Sea. The hand of God smiting the firstborn of Egypt. And so Balak, the king of Moab, would get scared like any other king. And so he does something that no one has, has done before. He sends for a witch. He sends for the witch. And the way he describes him, he says, I know he whom you bless is blessed. And he whom you curse is cursed. And say, therefore, come and cast these people for me. That's verse 6. Now, when you read down, you realize that when they go to him, he actually told them, I will inquire of the Lord. And in here, they mentioned the nation of Midian which was one of the sons of Abraham. So I was, I, I'm, I'm trying to research if Balaam was actually attached to the Midianites who, who seems to have a root of the fear of God from their grandfather Midian. Abraham. You remember after the death of Sarah? You remember that Abraham got married again? You never read that part in the Bible? Okay. Oh, so he gets married to a woman called Ketra. And how many kids that Ketra had, did she have? Ketra Meka. Five kids. Yes, five kids. And the Bible says, listen to me, and the Bible says, Abraham blessed each one of them and gave them a portion. 
Remember they are now born to Abraham after the blessing after the covenant of God. He says whatever comes out of you I will make great. That's how the children of Ketra become greater nations later. And so Midian was one of them. But Abraham before he died, the Bible says he sent them away from Isaac's property. He gave them portions and said before I die, here is what belongs to you, here is your land title, go away from this area. Find your place in, the, in life. So, so Isaac stayed the success of Abraham. But if you research this, all these five kids, they became great nations. That's why when Moses runs from Egypt, he goes to the Midianites. Why? They knew their, they knew their grandfather. And they feared the Lord. You remember Jacob? That's the, 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 the tribes, the families. And so I have a feeling that Balaam must have come from one of those tribes. So he knew about Jehovah. But he dwelt in the land of Canaan. Where you, are, you, 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 could have, you, could, you could have a choice to worship as many gods as you can. That's, the re, that's, what, that's one of the reasons why God vomited the Canaanites out of their land. It's because of, of their numerous gods. And that included Jehovah. Are you following me? So because Balaam, when he's approached, he says to the messengers that I'll inquire of the Lord. And indeed the Lord visited him in the night. And the Lord told him, don't go. And he never went. I'm just trying to tell you this spirit of witchcraft is so cunning. All of us have to be very, very aware that any time it can use you. All you need is to do something that God has not told you to do. Are you following me? And so, they went back and told Balak that the guy refused. And he sent another delegation. This time with ministers. The minister of finance, the minister of trade. I mean, he sent a powerful delegation with gifts. Because he had done the same in verse 7. He says the elders of Moab and the elders of Midian Departed with the diviner's fee in their hand. So now, if Balaam knew the Lord, when money became, came into the equation, now the motive changes. He had to inquire of the Lord. Did he know that it was wrong to curse the people of God? Yes. Sometimes people will tell you, I will ask the Lord. Not that, they, not that they don't know the truth. They know, but they are something interested in the equation. And now they want the approval of God on their desire. Are you following me? No, no, no. That's how the spirit of witchcraft comes in. I'm very sure that Balaam knew that Israel is a blessed nation and you don't even have to debate or double check with anyone that they, you, you, they can be cast. But because these people came with the diviner's fee. Now this is not some money that uh, 
people pull out of their their back pocket and say by the way ah uh, si change bantu go bajja mu nsawo ne bagamba nayo manyi this is what no. i heard this is prepared by a king zino sente kabaka yabera ziwadde it was a set portion Worth it to entice a man to leave his land to come and curse another nation. For he saw that, I'm sure that's the reason he said, let me pray first. He said, instead of saying, Adam and Lee, no, go, I don't want you. You remember Elisha? With that man called uh, Nayaman, Nayaman? When Naaman came back for to for thanksgiving after he's been healed of leprosy. Elisha said I won't even see you. And the man said I want to see him because I have a gift. And Elijah Elisha said no I don't want to see you I don't want your gift go. go. You see if you're going to overcome the spirit of witchcraft you must be aware of the material world that easily entices us. Are you following me people? Are you following me? We are building an altar people. We are building an altar for the Most High. We are inviting the living God. You need to understand. No flesh should glory in his presence. And I'm warning you church. As long as your heart is not circumcised against the riches of this world. The spirit of witchcraft. There is what we call a diviner's fee. The world has a diviner's fee. You prophesy, they will start to pay you. You prophesy, they will start to, 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 to they will give you titles. You pray for them, and they will start to pay you. Let me tell you something. On the altar, every sacrifice belongs to God. Every worship belongs to God. The diviner's fee will come, come in the form of men saying that you are, you are different from others. You are special. You are extraordinary. I've had people say that to me. And I've had to tell them, you know what? I am so ordinary. The only difference that makes me special the spirit of God and the same spirit in you God can use you the same way he uses anyone the moment you start to think that God has chosen others more than he has chosen the rest you start to put a diviner's fee in your hands for the servants of God. Are you following me? It's not bad to look, the Bible says, look after the men of God. One thing you need to understand, you can't buy the gift of God. Prophecy is free. Healing is free. Deliverance is free. Everything we do in this church is free. You know suppose to call any one of us another title. If you feel like you are overwhelmed by what God has done, praise him. Lift up your hands and worship him. Praise him for his wonderful works. But the moment 
the moment I'm telling you people. Because this is where we are the church. People are running after men of God. With a fee in their hand. And the men of God have not been so wise in our generation. I'm warning you because all of you God is going to use you. All of you there is a gift in you. There is a call on your life. God is going to use you. Be aware of the spirit of Balak that pays the prophets of God to divert them from the purposes of God. Miracles will start to happen here, people. Miracles are going to start flowing. Let me tell you people. Let us all be careful. Come on, favors. Praise the Lord. We are there in the village. People would come, come from Miracle Center. Hey, Even me, I'm on my Miracle Center. They used to come from Miracle Center. Pastor is my pastor. We got prophets. We got apostles. But whenever they came, they used to have a, a fee of what they needed. There are others who came to Masulita. Remember them, they never ate. Beans. They could not sleep badly. When they came for five days, you have to feed them chicken, rice, and matoke. They would say that to you. And the, the churches they used to visit. If you knew that they are coming. Instead of believers come with Bibles. They would come with a chicken in their hands. Then you would know the prophets had come back. Those ones now I don't know where they are. Brethren. The moment you oh, are minister, motivated by what people will give. You start being old. The presence of the Lord. You'll be like a prophet who slapped. Who slapped someone and said, when, when, Since when has the Spirit of God departed <laughs> from me to turn to you? Brethren. The spirit, the divine spirit. Where does it come from? When the prophet starts seeing the gift as profitable. And these ones, they prophesy, they say, when you pay him, he will remember I, your name. I know people who have gone to big pastors with money. <laughs> Someone left this congregation. Uh, with a name of they have never brought it into this church and, and gave it in another church so they can see the man of God. I'm saying and, they, and then they, 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 they were amazing. They came and told me. Hey, I talked to him several millions and I passed through I sat with him 30 minutes. Here I left when the speakers were in a bad condition. We had a generator. Which was made in the days of Kabaka Chua. He left this place with millions of money and he came and told me the story. In my heart I say, I didn't want to be a witch. But I asked him, did you see the man of God? He gave me time. And he prayed for me. But inside me I was thinking, the other pastor, how did he come to a level that whoever comes with money is the one who sees the pastor? Do you know where it comes from? Balaam. Balaam. It's not the one who told Balak to give him money. It was the thought of Balak. And he put the money in the hands of the people he sent. And that night, when Balaam saw that money, he never 
He spent the night praying. On the very thing he knew that it was wrong. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? Muslim. A Muslim is a Muslim. Even if he has money, he remains a Muslim. Just because you've seen the money. You don't have to spend the night praying for him to get saved. Don't enter in, into witchcraft. It is a cunning spirit. The spirit of witchcraft. You have to know where it works. It has, it has worked through money in our generation. That money has become God to all of us. Now me, I'm um, already repenting for the money. If I have what I need or I don't have, it's ne, up to eh, God. Ne, 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 week sente, so si but now I can no longer spend my two weeks praying for money. The Lord will provide. Amen. Amen. Era, katonda ye manya, njagala, njagala ngato, njagala ampale, njagala when the Lord knows I need money, I need school fees, I need clothes. Those are the reasons why I need money. When someone comes with a trouser I've been praying for, let him remain with the money. But there are people for you. Even if someone gives you a gift, a gift you still want oh, to give to the Brethren. Oh, Uganda. Brethren. Kasotu County. When you reach at that state and say, I wish they had given me cash. <laughs> Witchcraft. A dog. A look, looks for a dog. White. But through the pulpits, he has passed through money. Most servants of the Lord they show you that they don't want the money. But they will do anything possible. They will stand and pray. When there is something shocking as a miracle. Do you have you ever not seen many churches that when the spirit of God is moving? Then the, 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 the leader will stand up and say, We need to sow in this uh, in this uh, in this uh, this anointing. Sometimes it is very true. But I have also seen the manipulation of God's people. I need money. I need money. Why? Why? Because the money that you bring in the baskets is not enough. Every month we are always devising means. Yesterday we are the uh, someone says someone has brought a tithe. So as we were talking, they had already <laughs> finished the money as it came. <laughs> I said, eh, we will not have any balance. <laughs> because where that money landed, it was a very dry land. Very dry. Even if you would water for a week, it would be <laughs> <not come wet. laughs> So the money landed on dry ground. So I also didn't know what I was saying. We have workers that we pay We need money. But let me tell you. This is not going to control us. We are not going to do a service. Saying that how, how many have come. How many have money. Have those people with money come. We see them immediately. We put a program to give. Let God be God in this altar. Let God be God in this altar. If God touches you to give, give. If you don't need to give, you don't. The Lord will meet our needs according to his riches in glory. But will not use witchcraft to take your money. Also, you don't 
use witchcraft to remain with the money Kubanga bikola side mulooza ekigambo kya katonda kitala kya kisaleno ne kitala nene The word of God is a two edged sword Amen Amen Katezo zangi Is that zangi. mine Zino ba ziri keri nya zino zangi This one has a name it's mine Tabo mukabezi azibala muri nya ya Yesu No Asha should count this money in the name of Jesus Tuli ku moyo gwa witchcraft We are on the spirit of witchcraft Oguzinda wolotali that that destroys the altar Omoyo go kufuna mu 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 Samuel ekisoka In first Samuel Yo za sura ya 3 ya 4 nawe ya 5 mukaga Ah chapter 3 4 5 Walo musaje bamuita kabona kabona asingo mukuru bamuita nga Eli The chief priest was called Eli Yanyina batabani be He had his sons Kati ebiwe bwayo bino abantu nga baleta People would bring sacrifice Ne basala and cut and remove the blood and everything inside and they would give it to the Lord now there are some sacrifices people used to bring and they had to eat them before the Lord when you sacrifice the ship that ship was not to be burnt are you following me there are some offerings that used to be brought after you open, you don't go back the priest will slaughter it and bring out the blood and the and they would be put, put on the altar to be burned but whatever remains was to be bowed in a pot you who gave with your family and your friends you would sit and eat in the courts of the Lord it is the same thing that we do in this house. The same way you bring that money. The same way we return the money. In times of power, in times of electricity, in times of fuel, and mopping and cleaning the chairs on which you're sitting. You are sitting. When they used to buy But before you ate The priests who used to serve Would get their portion first The Bible says that uh -huh. The Bible talks about the sons of Eli the Kofi That they were greedy They were greedy they made a very big fork. <laughs> so they were saying as soon as the meat started to go, they would use their big fork and carry the meat. And people used to call them. Do you know that those children they died at the altar the covenant box? And Israel was so angry because of them because of their greed even the Lord that spirit it so much desires to come on the altar you come to seek the Lord but what happens you start thinking that where do I profit from the diviner's fee on the altar pollutes the mind of priests. These days, in the times of Jesus, there was no love offering. But now it is there. Among the ministers, some ministers have a portion. And they said 10 million when I see 10 millions on my account invitation later. then you can write to me an invitation later then I'll give you a reply there is a preacher the people in the city called here in Kampala spent three months $10 of fuel
Aboluganda. Brethren, I'm not talking about this as stories. Because we went with Pastor He told me later, and we went. When you reach there, the pastor told us, the one who invited him, that I and my church, we've already given $10,000. We are remaining with $90,000. Even in Masurita, we sent a million. And it came. When Pastor Kawesa took me, we also contributed money Uganda, the whole of Uganda was looking for $10,000 to bring in one preacher when he came just to see him you had to wake up at 4am and line up they they just, those who want to eat him in the same building they made a dinner. You have to pay three millions. Hey, I was defeated to pay that. And I said, This man of God. Why don't I go with the God of the man? I, that's where I ended. I did not give the three millions. I went to Nambol and saw him. But he spoke the words. I thought you had brought up different Bibles. But they are the very same words. He has been preaching on TV when you are watching. He brought the same words to Kampala. But I was amazed. He was amazed. On a small country. Praise the Lord. Don't you say other things are amazing? But they don't want to do it like that. You find yourself buying a car that has to take fuel when you want to go and preach the Lord is my witness I have never driven my car going to preach hoping that they will give me fuel where I am going to preach I have never done that before for those who want to serve God I am telling you this when they invite you somewhere to Minister, prepare yourself. Pay for the fuel in your car. Prepare yourself. Amen. When you start relying on the diviner's fee, the diviner's fee, you're going to get, get into trouble. There are places I've gone to. They gave me such money. I go around the church, I give it to someone, I tell them, don't tell the pastor, but go and eat that money. But there are some places I've gone, they've given me that money. And I feel the Holy Spirit has allowed me to get that money. And I give it to Mchala Kasozi, we go. When I feel the Spirit of the Lord has allowed me, but I have tried to train myself. This gospel we are given is so free. When I pray for you, when I preach to you, when I visit you, it is not a must that you should pay for what I've done. Amen. Amen. Now that concerns us who do those things. This Balaam, the Lord told him not to go. The following day they went with the Range Rover. And he first told them, You are joking. Even if they give me a house, the house, near the set house, I will not come. See, 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 to multiply he said now you give him a price 
Now they are. Bible the Bible says that Balaam went on that donkey and he went with them. The donkey broke his leg. He broke his leg. And he beat it because it was bringing a car. Have you ever been going somewhere and the car gets problems? All the border border hits you on the bottom. And your trousers. Yet the, the Lord refuses. Those of you who minister when the Lord refuses you to do something. Even on the way he, bring, he brings a donkey. One time I was going to run when they had put posters, I was the main speaker. It was to begin on Friday. On Thursday, I was praying for the parents. Spirit of the Lord asked me at night, did you inquire, did you inquire of me? Did you inquire I told him, no, sir. So you go on your own. I called the pastor. And I told him, I will not come. And he was angry and was right. But the problem was with me. Praise the Lord. Those who are led by the Spirit of God, they are the children of God. All of you who have gifts, Never do anything when you're not led by the Holy Spirit. Even if the people come and say, Prophet, what is the Lord saying? do not speak on behalf of a quiet God. You don't have to be guess you the don't prophecies. Guess. You don't guess. The spirit that prophesies more here in Uganda is the spirit of the Bachwez. It is a very delicate, complicated, sophisticated, familiar spirit. We used to have a man in Masulita when you had just started the church. There is nothing he did not prophesy. And he said, I, I saw the white men come and tomorrow they would come. I saw we bought tears and we bought the tears. You had just been born again for three weeks. I used to think that we've gotten a young prophet. He prophesied the whole year. There is nothing he didn't that did not come to pass. Kati. Now, one day, he started prophesying things. I saw men who are taller than this church. My spirit told me, ah, that's where I started. He came and prophesied other things. And in his prophesying, he would first but shake a a bit. Bit. When he would not shake a bit, you would know that that is a dream. But one day, we were in a service like this, praying for people to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And we started chasing demons. A big spirit came out of him that was, was so huge. It grew and it cooled down. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> that man never prophesied any other thing. Uh, that's the day I started waking up. What was this? And I started being keen. Familiar spirits. And I started, I started asking God to give me wisdom. And now, brethren. Familiar spirits. Divination spirit. When someone has a the diviners, they do not miss. They used to say these ones cannot miss. You remember those old women who just come and come. Those were not prophets. The Bagandas were also prophesying. 
what they call a familiar spirit. Even up to now they Abantu are still the same. Same. People use them in churches. People come and say, and you born in 89? begin shouting for sure they don't know what Kubanga divine who it's hard for them to say you'll be a pastor. That you give birth to four children. Praise the Lord. They usually stop somewhere in their knowledge. It's only the Spirit of God that knows the end at the beginning. At this altar, we need to be careful of the, these familiar spirits. They look like us. We were in Kapichora. Preaching the gospel in a conference. We had prayed for the people to be filled with the Holy Spirit. A woman started speaking tongues. And the Lord told me, Oh, Gomo, you're going to find a Because not that all tongues are I hear them on the TV speaking. That has never been the spirit of God. May it takes the, the real spirit of God to detect his familiar spirits on others. The woman started shouting. She just and others were also failed. That's a familiar, a lying spirit. The spirit of the Lord told me, Ogomoyo. When she was she was not seeing in the name I stood of Jesus. Her and said, you lying familiar spirit. Leave this woman. The tongue seized and she fell down. And stretched herself. And the spirit went. And I'm wondering how many people speak in tongues in our midst and we never care to know if they are really speaking from the spirit of God. There are some people that are left here. Especially those who have dreams. Especially those who have dreams. Someone who have a dream when you know very well they've never had the spirit of the Lord. But the spirit touched them. The, the dream. Those people are still living in the world. Balaam. Balaam. He had the ability to listen to God. Also to have another spirit on Every him. Every one of us had that ability. Let me repeat it. Balaam. Balaam. had the ability to be filled with the Holy Spirit and minutes later be possessed with the demon. And people could not tell the difference. That's why I read for you Matthew 16 last week when Peter, Peter prophesied and said you are the Christ. And four verses down the scripture. Jesus calls him Satan. What happened? That's, we are all have that ability. You can, collect, you can connect to this altar. But if you do a mistake. You automatically connect to another altar. And you'll be amazed what uses you. Praise the Lord. The other thing you have to know for God to use you it is not an approval that he owns you. The person that you are listening don't forget some of the things that I say. For God to use you, it is not an approval that he owns you. Did the donkey talk? Hmm? Did the donkey talk? Did the donkey speak? Was it born again? God. 
can use anything. And God can use anyone. Your prayer should go beyond God using you. Let God be your portion. Let him be your portion. Let him be your covenant. Stop praying that God use me. God can use anyone. God has used the President Museveni for almost 40 years. God used Vidandi Sali. God used the Abu Mayanja. God used Obote. God used the Haji Abu Bekar. Haji Abu Bekar That's a Muslim man who served me during the war. God used him. He was not born again. God can use anyone. He can use trees. If the saints keep quiet, the stones can sing. But the secret is, are you his portion? Does he call you his own? That's became my prayer when I discovered that for you to be used of God is not the highest honor. But you must go the Lord is using him. Leave those things alone. Yes, he sent the disciples. And he told them go and preach the gospel. They came back and said, The name is Mujiba de Jitoli. Yes, Nabagamba. But Jesus told them, Don't, don't be excited. Musanyuke. Only be happy because your names are written in the books of life. The demons the lame walk. And uh, those hundreds of people, even a Muslim man can do those things. Anyone who is not born again, as long as they use the name of Jesus, the name is powerful and independent to do miracles. miracles. God can use anyone. But not everyone God uses that they are his person. That's why Paul says that after serving others let me not be worthy and Jesus said that they will come and say we made crusades from Kinshasa to Nairobi from Johannesburg to Cairo, Egypt now I don't know you and he would tell them get away from me you sinners but they made the lame walk it's true yes they prophesied what happened they, they became vessels to be used amen the people that God uses some of them he doesn't have a covenant with them there are some people that I use also. I, I don't know where you're born. If you came to do a work, you do it and go your way. It is none of my concern. But I have children. Even if they don't work, they eat. But when you're a worker, you have to work and eat. I'm explaining to you how God works. The workers. The Bible says that they are worthy of their reward. The, the Lord gives them cars, they go and preach. But the children, even if they don't preach, they remain children. Do you understand? Let us begin at this altar. Let us remain his. Do not ever let his... May the Lord give you, uh, give you a sign to remind you that you are his. Do not 
Don't fight for ministry. Fight for ministry. Don't fight for ministry. Fight for your place. Fight for his presence. Fight to hear his voice. Those are the things you should fight for. If they chase you away from me, you let it be so. But remain with the grace of God. Amen. Elijah. Elijah. After killing the false prophets, Chief Witch told her tomorrow by 10 you'll be dead. He said, He the one who ran before the chariots of the king. That for that day he ran at night. And he hid himself. Because the witch had put wanted to kill him. But Elijah went with his God. The Bible says the angel woke him up and told him, arise and eat. When he arose, the bird had brought meat from the palace. And the Lord fed him from that place a long time. He had a lot of people there was a brook and when he died, the Lord told him, go to the widow. She will feed you until it rains. Our Lord is able. Is he with you? Do not make up things. If he, if he speaks, if he is quiet, please be quiet. Praise the Lord. When you pray for the sick to be healed and they he would praise the Lord. When you pray for them and they die, go for the prayer. Preach even at the at the, at the, the funeral. Preach your heart funeral. out. Let the living know that Christ still lives. Amen. When you pray and hear that, rejoice. When he tells you to rejoice, wait, wait, brethren. Don't pollute your altar with the materials of this world. Let the Lord be your own desire, your own desire. Let him be your focus. Desire him and him alone. If riches increase, don't pay attention to how much. If fame increases, never listen to the praises of men. Focus on him who called you. Always remember you are a servant of the Most High. All the glory belongs to him. All the honor belongs to him. If men praise you and crown you with their crowns, take their crowns and lay them at the feet of Jesus. Never receive the praises of men and consume them because I sense many of you God is going to use God is going to release blessings some of you even forget you have ever been poor some of you ever you forget that you have ever been poor Lord is going to bless you you even forget the codes of Uganda you got stars 5, 6, 7, 5, 8, 9 9 you can't what is chicken? Coco, what's chicken? chicken? Hey, go come here, wo, 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 wo. Now you're back. You cannot step on the well, even for God that you used to sleep That's why the Lord is not a man. Never forgot that you didn't. You didn't have anything. You came from the mountains of Tororo. Katonda ya atuyamba. Te wera bilanga jewava. Never forget where you came from. Hila te wera bilanga amanya aga kusitula okutu ala jolaga. Never forget the power that is lifting you to where you go. Hila te wera bilanga amanya aga kusitula okutu ala jolaga. It is the same power that can take you higher. It is the same power that can take you higher. It is the same power that can take you higher. It is the same power that can take you higher. It is the same power that can take you higher. It is the same power that can take you higher. It is the same power that can take you higher. It is the same power that can take you
tetemanga makubo katonda ga tetemie tokoze sangu amwe atali moyo wa mukama tokoze sangu bulimba tojie kadie kanga abantu tolagula ange byo bulimba wata echigambo cha katonda tokoze sai milia kubigerebi gena mansongo ga mukama nkole ndagano nawe we sabire ogamba god will be my god my covenant is with you I will never serve another God. Ni Musa mikono jo. We sabire ngo gamba. Obugaga nebo buliye yongera. Buli sigala ngo ni number 1. Nebo bali mpiti we bali mpebitibwa. Ekitibwa kyo nandi kwata ne nchikodiza. Ndikubulira abatamanya abatukumanya. Ndikulimbira oluyimba. Musumbozi bad jangwa. Saba 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 saba. Saba 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 saba. Saba 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 saba. Binaenda chikatano zitukule mbele mu kusaba. Kale genda maso genda maso genda maso ngokamba mukama nzize. Ni kama gizga ngateka wansi njagala gwaba afuga. Njagala gwaba tambula muze. Njagala gwaba nkulembira. Njagala ntambule mukwagala ko. Njagala ntambule mu kisacho. Mukamba mwoyo mutokovu. Nzize. Ni wayo. Ni wayo mwoyo mutokovu. Ni tage kisacho che kiba kikolambula mu bwange. Ama gezi gange kufeo Oktegera kwange kufeo Nsigolinga antambulia mchisacho Sigolinga antambulia mkwaga lako Sigolinga ampulira Deka matu gango gagule wo Deka maso gange kalave Ndemekolo kwaga lako ange Ndemekolo oktegera kwange Ndemekolo vino mwose viange Ndemekolo kwaga lako 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 Mujagala mukama ntambule mukwagala ko ndanchali mulugino no mulukozi omwoyo omutukuvu deka nkolenga mulugala pero zetsa chokulira pero zetsa chokulira nsomulu kulira de mosiyo nene mukulira abantu yabogera nene kugondera abantu nangondera linyiriyo ngondera chisacho mukene mugamba moyo omutukuvu deka nkole se deka nsigala Mpelezo kwa galako Depe nsigalanga ni mwema ya sogo Depe nsigalanga Antambula mchisacho Mugamba mwema wa mkame Mzize mwema mtukuvu Mzize kumera sadake Nemu Mwema ya mwema wa mkame Depe mbele sadake Nemu Mwema ya mwema ya gira Tuina kumera sadake Nemu Mugamba mwema ya mtukuvu Depe nkolo kwa galako Depe ntambula mchisacho I walk in your place. Yeko mwe wa yarafu gamu nje. Yede nsomye. Yede ritoro ni nevi nje. Ne nje gante ambuli ya mwe wa yoro. Jede gante ambuli ya mchisacho. Mwe wa katonde. Yeko mpeleze chisa. Yeko kusawa la kurinda. Yeko kusawa kugumi nkiriza. Yeko kutambuli ya mkule la wako. Mwe wa mwe wa katonde. Yede ni neta gani nje. Mwede ni nje gala rinji Mwede ni nje taga kwa takwa rinji Mwede ni nje chisacho Sinfo kugumi nkiriza Nisa wala kutambla mchisa Ocho mkumi nkiriza Mwede ni nje mwede ni nje nkiriza Mwede ni nje 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 Mw
Let you work in me. May our wisdom vanish. May our thinking fade away. That even if we have money, you're still better. Even if we have money, you're still better than Even though we have just even though we have even though we have For the great message. For me to be blessed. 
So the message I've, I've received today. I want to go back to Kabimbi. I will tell us I will tell them the same word. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us again celebrate him. And we celebrate God more. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's touch into our pegas and we give in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I said that you, you should not use the same power to refuse to give. Hallelujah. Amen. So you touch in the pocket. You pick money. And we give in the house of the Lord. Let me pray for you. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the offertory that we are going to give. We don't pray for the offertory, but we pray for the people that are going to give in your house. I pray that you bless them, you bless whatever they do, and you must pray whatever they are giving to your house. As the Bible says that we are tempting you with the offertories and tithes. You open for us the windows of heaven. You pray the blessing on to us and if it put it anywhere. Let us see the blessing as we give in your house. In Jesus my name. Amen. Amen. As also come as we pray over it. May God bless you as you give into the house. May he work for you and change your life. You get everything that you want. Everything that you've been praying for. May God bless you and you see his hand. You don't stay behind but you lead as others are leading. Uh, let me take this opportunity and this, we, we share the grace for us at Kabimbi Worship Center. When we are sharing the, when we are sharing the words of the grace, we don't close the eyes. You hold, you hold of your neighbor. You look at him. All of her. And, they, and then you, you share the words of the grace. Hallelujah. Amen. So let us do that. I made the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ and the love of God, God the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us on forever. Amen. 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 May God bless you. Thank you so much. Amen.